the Jacksonville Jaguars tonight looked like a offensive football team that didn't belong on an NFL field. This is the third straight game not scoring over 20 points. This is the eighth straight game that the Jacksonville Jaguars have lost with Trevor Lawrence starting at quarterback for the team. This is another game, you know, after a 17-20 to 20 defeat in Miami, you say, you know what, we lost on a field goal to end the game. We're probably we're probably on the up and up from here. Then you play Cleveland, and offensively, you put up 13 points and lose to Deshaun Watson and a terrible, in their own right, Cleveland offense. Then you play Buffalo, and you're like, you know what, Monday Night Football in Buffalo, this is the time where Trevor Lawrence, Christian Kirk, Travis Etienne, this offensive line, Doug Peterson, this offensive staff, this is when they need to step up, and this is when they will step up if you have any shred of hope that this team can be good, which going into this season, I had a lot of, I had a lot of stock in Jacksonville being good. I made it pretty evident that I thought Jacksonville was going to be a very good team this year. Not only have they fallen flat on those expectations, they, like I said, they look like they don't belong on a football field offensively. Defensively, they suck too, but I can't put that much blame on a defense that is consistently um, on the field. <laughs> when you're going against Josh Allen and a Buffalo Bills team that, no, they don't have as much talent. I wouldn't say they have as much talent offensively as Jacksonville does. Is James Cook probably as talented, if not more talented, than Travis Etienne? Sure, but... You have Christian Kirk, Brian Thomas, Gabe Davis, Travis Etienne in the passing game as well, Brenton Strange, who looked like he could be a solid tight end for this team, compared to Keon Coleman, Curtis Samuel, Mac Hollins, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Dawson Knox, Khalil Shakur, and Dalton Kincaid. Buffalo is not as talented as Jacksonville, but what they have over Jacksonville... Jacksonville just plays like a weak football team. They play like they don't deserve to be on a football field. They play like it's a it's a right for them. They don't play like it's a privilege. They play like it's a right. Like, you know what? We deserve to be out here. They don't actually play like it. They play like they think like it. But they don't actually play like it. And Buffalo is the wrong team. Buffalo was the wrong team to play like that against. And we saw why tonight. Not only is Buffalo the wrong team to play like that, the Buffalo is the wrong place to play in like that. Um, I don't know if the answer is just straight up fire Doug Peterson, fire Press Taylor, fire the offensive staff, start anew. Because I think this team, whatever attributes are with this franchise right now, they're going to be there for a while. And I feel bad for Trevor Lawrence because this is not the start to his career that he should have had. This is not the start to the career that Travis Etienne and Brian Thomas and these guys offensively should have. Now, I think one thing that could possibly get fixed by the end of the year is this offensive line needs to have something change. I don't know how many times that we need to watch Cam Robinson give up pressure on the edge with just a straight speed rush. I don't know how many times we needed to watch Anton Harrison just get absolutely abused on the right side. Um, I don't know. But the offensive line needs shuffling as well. Because at the end of the day, if you can't block, and you know running the ball seemed like it could have been a strength for this team. But after tonight, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and it doesn't get anywhere. It, it doesn't get any easier for Jacksonville going forward. They're going to Houston next week. Houston coming off of a 34-7 to ass kicking of their own that I think they're going to be really wanting to get back on the right track, especially against a divisional opponent who CJ Stroud hasn't really proved anything against yet. I tell you what, it, it really pissed me off after Christian Kirk caught a pass down the middle uh, 
towards you know the halfway point of the third quarter when they had their touchdown drive it really pissed me off to see him get up and celebrate i I don't know why maybe it's the fact that they were losing 34 to 3 at the time but it just really pissed me off and that's kind of what i'm saying when i say that this team mentally is kind of weak and i don't know if it was at halftime where the coaching staff is telling this team you know what we need to get some energy we're down 31 fucking points at halftime we need to get some energy back in this in this in this team but that i, I don't <laughs> i just don't see i just don't see why it makes any sense um let's go back to Doug Peterson though why I get taking Trevor Lawrence out for the last couple drives of the game. Why are we leaving in Travis Etienne and Christian Kirk and Brian Thomas and these guys? At some point, we we need to be we need to show a little bit of a shred of consistency from the coaching staff. Um, something that Doug Peterson has never shown since he got to Jacksonville is any consistency with his game planning, with his scheming, with his thought process behind his decision making with the Jacksonville Jaguars? Why is anybody in down 40 to 10? Um, Why is anybody down? Why is anybody in down 47 to 10? Are you asking for somebody to get hurt? Are you asking to like, what are you asking for from your players at that point? Because you're saying we're losing enough to take out our quarterback who hasn't done shit all game. But we're not going to take out our running back, our receivers, or the offensive line who haven't done shit all game either. So wh- why is it just Trevor Lawrence? I That part confused the hell out of me. Um, and that's kind of my takeaway from the first three games of this year from Jacksonville is I'm really confused about what to think anymore of this team. But... I do think overall I'm I'm pretty done with this team. Um, at this point, they've been outscored. What you add up these three games, they've scored forty points to their opponents eighty five. Yeah, I'm 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 done with this team. That their season's obviously not over. There's obviously fourteen more games, but I, I'm pretty I, I'm I'm out on the Jacksonville Jaguars.